All right, hey everybody. Uh, I'm Josh Collinsworth, and uh, this is a lightning talk about CSS variables. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Everybody can see this okay, I hope? Yes. All right, sweet. <clears throat> so um, let's write a little bit of CSS. And I'm just going to do it in this document over here. I've, uh, I've got a little bit of CSS set up already, but I put that in another file, because the only reason I have it is that I avoid exposing you to Times New Roman at all costs. And I just want this to look slightly better than the default styling. Um, I'm just going to write a little bit of CSS right here in the style tag. So this is a pretty common setup. Let's say um, we've got our level one heading, and we want its color to be um, uh, maybe this particular color. And um, yeah, just whatever color that is. And we want to re keep reusing these brand colors everywhere we go, right? So maybe I want my input to also have a border that's two pixels solid in that same color, so I have to copy and paste it. And uh, while we're at it, our button probably better have a background color. That's the same thing. Paste that in there. My computer is sliding around on this stand. It's probably going to fall. Uh, and as we, uh, let's make that color white as well. And as we uh, do this, we start realizing that we are reusing the same things over and over again, right? Uh, I could even go so far as to say, uh, maybe I want to get really fancy, and I'm just going to give this paragraph right after my level one heading a border top of a couple of pixels that same color, maybe a border bottom, a couple pixels of that same color. What's the command? This, whoop. Oop. This is why you don't live code, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do border bottom. Uh, oh, I need a plus. There we go. No, not working. What's my HTML structure? H1 plus P. All right. Oh, I need solid. OK, cool. All right, so we have all these things that are the same color. And then all of a sudden, a designer comes along. And they're like, uh, you know what? Actually, that's the wrong shade. We need to change all of those. And uh, I'm going, ah, uh, crap. Or maybe it's me. It's probably me. I'm redesigning the brand on my website for the third time this year. And I decided this color is shit. And I've got a new color. And it's way better. And I need to change all instances of it. And it sucks because I have to do a finer replace. Uh, that is awful. Nobody wants to do that. That is why we have da -da -da, CSS variables. OK, so um, a CSS variable is instead of using this value everywhere, I can just use one value over and over and over again. Here's how you do this. Um, this syntax might look a little weird if you're just used to normal CSS, but we'll explain it real fast. I want to put my variable inside a root selector. And I'll get to why here in a second. But uh, a variable is just a thing that you give a name, like brand color. And then a value like that, whoops, forgot I had extra stuff in my clipboard, like this brand color. And then I can just reuse this name right here, dash dash brand color, everywhere I go. So instead of this and this and this and this and this and this, I uh, can tell CSS, instead of a solid value here, I'm going to use a variable, which we do with the var keyword. Uh, well, actually, it's a function. So var, and then in parentheses, you just put the name of the variable that you want to use. All right, we can see nothing's changed here. But now, if I need to change all of these values at once, all I have to do is change this original declaration. So maybe I'm going with more of this like marigoldy uh, yellow color. And if I save that, voila, every one of them is going to change at the same time because they're all pulling from exactly the same source. Uh, I can make it whatever I want to, um, orange. Orange doesn't have a pound sign before it. Whatever you want it to. And you can use variables for any valid um, value in CSS, too. So if it was like two pixels solid, whatever, you could put that in there and everything. Um, here's the weird part of the syntax. If you're looking at this and going, what the heck is root? Um, root is the exact same selector as HTML. The only difference is it's slightly more specific. So it's less likely to get overridden. So this just means that uh, this anything you put in here is going to apply to everything in your document. Because, hey, guess what? Here's your HTML tag, and everything else is inside of it. 
Um, CSS cascades down, so I wouldn't have to put this here. I could, instead of using root, I could just use, say, main in this case, because all of the styles that I'm using are inside this main tag. So that means if I changed that, it wouldn't make any difference. Uh, brand color can still cascade down to everything that's in the main tag. But if I just did this as like inside the H1, then guess what? None of the other properties and none of the other elements know about it because they're not children of this. So we just use root because everything is a child of the uh, HTML tag or the root element. For some weird reason, you have to start your variable names with a double dash. I'm not sure why that is. Probably because somebody was a fan of Mario Kart on the GameCube, double dash. Um, but uh, I, I guess just because CSS needs something to read to identify this as being different than any other property or any other value, it's just named with a double dash. And then to use it, you're just always going to put it inside this var function. It seems like it would make sense that you wouldn't have to do that. Like you could just do color dash dash brand color. Uh, that does not work. I'm, uh, I'm not sure why that is in the CSS spec, but those are the three parts. You're probably just going to put all of your actual variables inside the root selector, just because that means everything in the document has access to it. Uh, you'll always start it with a dash dash, and you'll always put it inside of the var function to use it. And if you're wondering about support on this, it's actually really good. You can look up caniuse.com. I think we're in the like 90s percent wise right now. So CSS variables. 